up guys I'll be here with another video today I want to showcase uh, Viesa uh, as you can see from that clear <laughs> she's pretty good and I in my opinion pretty underrated they'll showcase all play styles and yeah so let's start with with uh, what you saw so like the burst build max DPS you, you, you want cold bloodedness it's just her best uh, by far, our best ultimate by uh, transcendent by far. You focus. You want to focus on skill cooldown and the raw damage. I, I and uh, I managed to fit spear and shield and HP amplification. So like, it's not a pure glass cannon build, and you still still can make those clear happen. But yeah, and also I'm using focus and fusion instead of focus of attack. Because you're gonna be spamming a lot of your one and three. I don't know which is better, but I got a pretty sick clear. As you can see, there still could be optimization. I just don't have the gold right now. I'm really struggling with the gold. But yeah, that's 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 what you want to use is for crit, like max crit. Right? So skill concentration, skill inside front lines, and emergency me measures. Focus and chill and then either focus on fusion or focus on tech I went with focus on fusion just because I had a, a, a Xantic slot here already I don't want to change it skill extensions of course for your for a bonus tick of blizzard it's really important for this uh, max dps build then we have the other build which is what I use running dungeons I really like the cold cohesion for dungeons, right? Maybe you when you have a lot of enemies surrounding you or bombers, this just works well. And for farming, I have skill expansion and what else? Any I put there, yeah, that's what you care about. So yeah, you saw your trail, your cold. Uh, no wait, your frost road does damage, right? So you can just run in circles and kill stuff. Yeah. As for weapon, I'm just using Python because I have a reactor for Python again. This is my setup. Firing Fiesta is really good. It makes you like a pocket clay. I really love it. I think it's extremely valuable. As you can see, I could uh, breakpoint Pyro really fast. So, you know, he, he couldn't frenzy at all. As for components, you absolutely want a uh, Slayer for the massive skill power. Just max HP or max MP and MP recovering combat is mandatory. Defense, well, whatever. And max shield. What you want is max MP and MP recovery on your sensor. Uh, for m reactor, I went with skill cooldown and shield power boost ratio. I think this is probably your best in slot. Unless you're running, uh, let's see, even more skill cooldown, but as you can see, you don't really need it because you're gonna down the boss with, with your first blizzard. And by the time he runs out, you're on top of him, so you don't actually need more skill cooldown. This is gonna be around 15 seconds once you pop your your frost road. So yeah, you pretty much have 100% uptime on damage phases with this build. You don't have uh, you don't really need more cooldown. Let's see. Uh, yeah. That's it. I think that's it. Hope you enjoy the build. So a quick thing I wanna add for speed killing. Could add walk. Wait, walk on a tight rope, right? For the skill power. Uh, I like my builds to be self-sufficient, though, and be able to play whenever or wherever in you know every content. That's why I I build it like that, so she can still speed kill while being useful in, in other content. And being, you know, and actually surviving the boss without relying on RNG and stuff. So that's why I like this. But you could further improve this with walk on, 
walk on a tightrope and maybe focus on tech, whatever. I like this though. So yeah, that's it. Alp out. <laughs>